Nigerians should allow bandits, horsemen, and terrorists to have their own share of the national cake. This is according to uh, Sheikh Gumi, the self-acclaimed Islamic cleric. You're going to listen to all the trash he has to vomit here. You remember that last time he had a meeting with a terrorist, uh, with the bandits in the bush or forest. So this is what he came out to tell the general public. Please do well subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. Thank you greatly for watching. I think Nigerians all should embrace peace. That is the best way. And when Nigerians should allow them to have a share of the national cake. There, the, to them, there is no cake there. Not even Akara. There is nothing there. They are just in the bush like when Adam and Eve was created uh, on earth. Nothing. Their condition is simple. Please don't lynch us when we come to town. Please don't, uh, one, once we lay down our weapons, don't come over us and arrest us and kill us. Give us amnesty. Then please give us schools. In fact, they mention school more than anything. Yes, these bandits are the headsmen. They are, they are, and surprisingly, I've seen faces that, you know, it's not every, it's not all, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, Fulani that are headsmen. In fact, in every region, you have different tribes that are headsmen too. But they have common thing. They are usually, they dominated the, the bushes. What informed my uh, position to meet with these uh, people is that I realized from clips we get from the police when they, they that these people are really really not, not educated in any sense they have no any formal education most of them most of the criminals so i said let me see and have a contact and see firsthand what is their problem let's hear from them let's see what they are what are they fighting for what i found out is, is a is a small case of uh, criminality which turned into insurgency you know they they it started with criminality in the bush it started with uh, cattle wrestling then armed, armed robbery on the streets without kidnapping this is how it started every Conscious adult in the north is very conscious of this. That there are times, yes, they come from bush and attack a motor. Not to attack it, they stop a car, tell them to lie down, lie down, lie down, and take bribe and bribe, uh, rob people and let them go. And then it slowly developed into kidnappings and what we have from their tune. Uh, they are they show us they are forced to do that. We ask them what are your conditions if you want to blend and come back with what are your conditions and we found their conditions are, are palatable and you know government should uh, waste uh, its military in trying to kill this uh, poor ragtag uh, population they want to drop they want to give out their weapons to the government but on the condition there should be amnesty for them they want to come into markets. They want to be able to go into towns. You know, there are many towns they cannot even venture into it. Dialogue will do it 100%. 100%. You see, if the government, if the government can come in seriously and uh, come into this dialogue, I'm sure, I'm sure these people will lay down their arms, just like what happened with the Niger Delta militants. If there's anything, they told us, let me tell you specifically, they told us, the, the, the headsmen have never suffered in any regime like they have suffered with uh, Buhari. This is their warning. Because of the high-hearted way he took the... As latest as just last week, they were bombarding them with aeroplanes. They are bombarding them. So I, I don't think... Uh, it's just a misconception. That's why we want to get the president to, to, to understand. I'm trying to see the president himself to make him understand. This is not the way to go about it.
yes, I think the government should come in and give amnesty and also compensate all victims on both sides, as I told you, uh, which can be verified that so, so, so person where I was kidnapped and this is the ransom, government should come and compensate. And with this compensation, I think many wounds will be healed. This is, I, I go to the state government, I meet the military, the police, and tell them, look, this issue is all for us to come together and work together. And see, we get out of this uh, quadrum and this problem. So I'm working with everybody. Uh, that's why now I, I can spend an hour with you, with the press, trying to explain to you what I have seen, so that you can also put your part. Let's put Nigerians together. Let's not, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, anybody who knows this Shagumi should just tell him to stay in one place so that that thunder, when that thunder that will fire him comes, let him not confuse the thunder so that the thunder can just hit him at the target very well. Just the same way the thunder will meet with every other element of Sokodo and Fulani caliphates who are bent on making sure that this very country is drowned just the way it is getting drowned right now. Did you hear all the things he vomited? That they should be given the bandits and the terrorists themselves should be given amnesty just the same way the youth from the Niger Delta were given amnesty in those days. Now tell me, what are those guys, what are they not generally contributing to the government coffers? What are they contributing to Nigerian, uh, you know, purse? Nothing. Even the cow they have is their own. It's not a public property. It's not for the government. Even all the crops or the, or, the, or the crops or the food that they produce is for them. None of those things, you know, gives money to the governments. Tell me what they are fighting for. I mean, the terrorists in the bush, tell me what they are fighting for. And did you notice another thing he said? He said that they have been handled with high-handedness. That uh, for, uh, for some time now they have been bombarded, they have been, you know, meted with full force. I mean... These are criminals that this man is talking to, yeah, or talking about rather. He's talking about criminals. He say they have been melted with full force. They have been hand handled with high handedness. I mean, so they should be pampered. These are the people killing people with impunity across the length and breadth of this very country. This is a supposedly an Islamic scholar, yeah, a, a clergyman. What does this man preach? What kind of school did he go to? But these are the people that are leaders in a state like that of Nigeria. These are the people we call leaders. These are the people that we call opinion, you know, murders in a country like Nigeria. These are the people you want me to stay together with. People that protect and do everything to pamper people who are killing with impunity, who kills with liberty. The only people who are immune to being condemned, to being arrested, to be prosecuted, you know, to be, you know, attacked. Arrest them today. In the next one hour, they are released and shown another way to take so that they don't take the, uh, the, the other route that they took um, that made them to be arrested. This, that, this is the kind of country we sell ourselves. All I know is that this country is going to disintegrate you see that referendum will go into it with full force. If they don't want to conduct the referendum in peace, then we take it by pieces. Yes, we take it by violence. Eastern Security Network has come to defend all the Easterners, and Motekon will also defend all the Westerners. But how I wish a Motekon should stop working with the Nigerian police, arresting miscreants and kidnappers and kill killers, and handing them over to the police is not the way, it's not the right way to go. Yes, support Sony Boho, support every activist, support Marzun Namdekano, our indefatigable leader. Thank you guys for watching and please do watch and subscribe to our channel before you go. May God bless you. Up BFR, up Oduduwa Republic.